Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Tiny Industrial. We've got three planks here. I'm gonna shushugio ban these three planks in three different burn intensities. And then I'm going to finish them with linseed oil, my personal favorite, some Danish oil, which I picked up at the big box store and some polyurethane. So you can get an idea of what the finished product looks like. So I'm not gonna talk much about the actual burning technique. If you're interested in that, I would welcome you to check out my other video on that. That's gonna be a link to it on the top right hand corner of the screen. Basically, we're gonna burn these, sand them, finish them. That's the process. So three burns, I'm gonna go with the light burn down on this end. That's the light burn. Now I'm gonna go for the medium burn. medium probably my personal favorite that's the medium and then we're gonna go heavy on this end these are the what I consider the light burn sections then we're moving into more of a medium burn now this is kind of the stage that you get to before the actual alligator skin as they call it starts to form which is what you see down on this end. So next step is wire brushing. That's typically what I would do at this point. And uh, I'm gonna do a fairly light wire brushing. Now you can vary your technique with that as well. You want sort of a medium intensity wire brush. I've got this one, which has got, I'd say a fairly soft bristle to it. Links to these products are going to be in the description below. There's a certain shine that the wood has after the burning process. This takes it right off. Now, this is not a science. You can brush this as much or as little as you want, or not at all. You always wanna brush with the grain of the wood. See, this middle section is the way that I generally would do this. This is all very subjective. Now, you could just leave the alligator skin as is. Some people like that. Personally, it's not really for me. Please stick around to the end of the video. I'm gonna rapid fire out a couple more suggestions around Shishugiban based on the comments that I've gotten on my previous videos. And if you're finding this helpful in any way, please hit the like button. It's super helpful to me. And check out my other videos. I do videos on tiny houses, DIY stuff. All right, so it's pretty clear to see here that we have sort of three different grades of burn. The next part is the finishing part. So what I'm gonna do uh, first though, is I'm gonna give this a good wipe down and make sure that we get all this uh, remnant dust off of here. All right, so starting on this end, let's kick it off with the linseed oil. Then we'll move on to the Danish oil. And then the last one, we're just gonna polyurethane. You can apply this as much or as little as you want. It kind of brings out the tone of the wood a little bit. Drop a comment below if you are seeing something that I'm doing wrong or that you do differently or that you prefer. This is the Danish oil. And the feeling this is gonna be very similar to the linseed experience. Now you can use a rag for this, or you can apply it with a paintbrush or one of those foam brushes. You go pretty heavy on this stuff. It does tend to soak into the wood. This poly, we're gonna move this away a little bit so that we don't contaminate the other area. Now 
That's the lightly torched sections complete. Let's move on to the middle ones. Now this first one I'm doing is the linseed. This would be the way that I've always done these. This is my go-to. Now initially it has a bit of a gloss, but that gloss becomes more matte as the oil soaks in. And if you apply the oil really heav heavily, and you happen to find that the oil is not soaking in completely, you can always wipe it down with a cloth after 10, 15 minutes or so. Danish oil. What's so Danish about it anyway? You know, you can pour a little add on here. Let's be liberal with this stuff. Let's see what happens with this polyurethane. All right, that's that. All right, last section. Leave it at that. We're gonna let that all soak in and settle in for the next 20, 30 minutes, and I'll come back and show you the final result. All right, so approximately a half hour has passed since I oiled these down and polyurethane them. Now this is the light end. We had here the linseed oil, Danish oil, and the polyurethane. This is the mid burn section. Again, this is probably my favorite way to do this. It's got that nice sort of matte satin shine to it the grain of the wood is really brought out and the danish oil i noticed was a little bit thinner um, the linseed oil was thicker and it kind of soaked in a little bit slower i kind of like that and then the poly is down here it's got a little bit more of a gloss to it moving all the way down to the heavily burnt end so what i don't like about these is it's so dark that you lose some of the, the grain of the wood that you still have over here. I think that's you know, a really nice feature of that. But that said, you know, if you're going for like siding or something to that effect, I would go pretty dark. I would burn it down pretty, pretty heavily. Some of the Danish oil didn't quite soak in there. And again, the polyurethane is a little shinier. I would probably hit the uh, polyurethane one more time to see if that does anything to it. Um, you could add more linseed and Danish oil here as well. But let me know which one you like the best. Which one do you think turned out the best? Do you like the light burn? Do you like the medium burn? Do you like the dark burn? But here we go. Rapid Fire Shishugiban Q&A round. Let me drink some Kool-Aid. You could, but I would advise against it. Pressure treated wood is already protected by some nasty chemicals that they put into the wood. Yes, pine is my favorite wood to Shishugimon because it's so anemic and so boring and so cheap. Uh, if you were to do this to higher end wood, you know, oak, mahogany, uh, sure, you, sh you could Shishugimon it, but that wood is already so beautiful in and of itself, black walnut, um, that, you know, why would you want to do that, right? So pine, spruce, whatever, uh, any kind of fir tree is, is really good for this particular process since it brings out a little bit more, um, you know, beauty in the wood that isn't inherently there. You should definitely, if it's going to be an exterior ap application, you should definitely do all sides. Why is that? There's two main reasons. 
one, you want to protect the wood from all sides. You know, just because uh, you have one side protected doesn't mean the other side's protected. So two, if you have wider planks and you only burn one side of it, you risk the plank cupping because the heat on one side of the board will cause um, expansion and contraction and, and the other side and vice versa. And what you get is sort of a, uh, a crooked board. Burning both sides uh, definitely minimizes that. It's whatever you prefer. It's however dark you want to burn the wood, however light you want to burn the wood. And you can use a, a small handheld torch to do this. I wouldn't recommend it for larger projects. I find that if I use sort of a handheld torch, it leads to, um, you know, it, it tends to cause lines on the, on the wood. The broader the flame, the better a result you're going to get. Now, the, the wood will soak it in uh, as much as it needs. Any excess that doesn't soak in anymore, you can wipe off. No, you don't. You don't actually. Adding the oil will certainly enhance the capabilities of the wood to um, maintain itself. Uh, you know, as it's exposed to the elements, but it is not necessary. All right, so I think that wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun making this. I'll see you in the next video.